Now we go on to our next topic. We are in chapter four of the draft notes. This is vectors. This is a mathematical tool that we shall use a lot in this course. Okay. What is a vector? Some of you maybe never heard of vectors, but this is not something complicated. Well, we start with how to find a point. Well, we will discuss how things move, where they are. So if I have a little object at this point here, I want an address for this object. Where is it? Okay. And we live in a three-dimensional space. So the way to do this is to give three numbers, three coordinates. How is that done? We must define a coordinate frame. We must define, draw some lines, some axes, three lines perpendicular to each other. You can call them anything you want, but usually we call them X, Y, Z. Okay? As I've drawn there. Then, I give the coordinates of this point. For example, the coordinates of this point might be okay, 3, 5, and so, let's see. What does that mean? It means you have your origin starting point at the intersection of your x, y, z axis. That is the reference point to find all addresses. That is your zero point. Start from the zero point. Go three steps. If you are using meters, three meters, <coughs> along the x direction. Then go, I said five, right? Go five meters in the y direction. And then z was seven. Go up seven meters in the z direction. That's the unique address. You will get just one point if you do this. So this point in space, with respect to this set of coordinate axes, has the address 357. Okay? That's very familiar. Okay. Can everybody hear me now? Okay. So, just three numbers are enough, are required, to give the precise way of finding any point. Provided you have or you know what reference frame you are talking about. Just like when you give somebody an address, you know, you go along such and such a street, so many meters, and then turn off into such and such another street, y-axis, go so many meters, and then fly, okay, along the z-axis, so many meters, and land on somebody's fifth floor, okay. Uh, same thing. But to do this, you must know <coughs> where these streets start, where is the origin. Now the point physically in space is the same point. But if I now use a different rotation, uh, different uh, frame, if I just change my axis, now this is my x, this is my y, this is my z. The point is the same point, the particle is still sitting here, but the numbers will not be 3, 5, 7, they will be maybe minus 1, 10, and 23. So the actual numbers depend on, of course, how you choose your coordinates. But once you choose your coordinates, you know that x, y, z are measured from this point, along this direction, that direction, that direction, then the address is definite. Okay? This is a vector. A vector is nothing else but just a set of three numbers, the address of a point. 
Ok. So basically, there is nothing fancy, nothing complicated about a vector. Com it's just coordinates. If you are talking about motion in the plane in two dimensions, then you have two numbers in your address. So 